Hello everyone, welcome to the new video. In this video, I would like to show you the new stuff in PyoSilver 3.3, namely the new browser layout. Uh, so first, I would like to show you how the layout looked like in the old version of PyoSilver. So we had this uh, main grid of 13 by 13 with strategies for hands and we can navigate through it to see the strategy for particular combos or we can open the range explorer where we see a bit more like a distribution of our range across uh, hand strength categories draws and some equity or ev graphs uh, so in the new version of pi viewer 3.3 we have introduced the new layout which combines strengths from both of these uh, views so we still have the grid we still have the zoom which shows strategy for uh, every combo but now we also have these bars which show us the distribution of our range across different categories strategy for those it shows distribution of both in position and out of position player ranges next to each other so if we navigate to another node now we see uh, in position players range um, additionally we have in here also more categories like equity and ev buckets these are actually configurable so the numbers like uh, the thresholds here like 25 50 and 75 they are not hard-coded but they are uh, fully configurable so let's come to the configuration for a moment uh, so big parts of the layout in here is configurable so first of all we have several layouts we can choose from there is a default layout there is a layout for small screens there is old layout which means it looks exactly like uh, version 3.2 and lower and we can also fully customize the new layout which means that all the controls which we have on the on the screen right now they can be moved around in any configuration they can be even removed if you don't like them uh, so just so that you know this is configurable also we have these uh, equity and ev thresholds uh, that i've mentioned are configurable and some other configuration stuff is also here uh, so let's see what do we have on this main grid so the first thing you can see is that I can hover over the uh, categories in here in the in the range uh, explorer bars and when I hover over any category like top pair here it shows where this top pair is present on the 13 by 13 grid where is it present on the equity graph for both players and what are the um, what is the strategy for this particular selection so for example we see that for the full range we have not that many raises here 60% calls and 40% falls but if I hover over the top pair we see that 99.1% of top pairs is um, actually calling so we can uh, quickly see that we can also click top pair to select it and then on the grid here we see only top pairs and now we can also see the distribution of top pairs across other categories like across flash drawers so we see that some top pairs have flash draw some of them have backdoor draw and some of them have no draw at all uh, we see where these top pairs are located on the um, equity graph so some of them are in the top equity and some of them are in the in the higher equity bu uh, bucket and another cool thing in here is that we can select more stuff like we can select two pair top pair and under pair and a flash draw uh, to create some more complex condition and and when we select anything in here it actually changes this filter expression so we can for example copy this expression and uh, use it for something or we can type expression here from hand so for example we can type here ace to see where are the aces on the graph so here ace is a top pair uh, okay i will remove the selection so we can type here ace as well again um, so we see where is the ace where are the hands with aces on the on the equity likewise we can for example 
make a queen in here. Okay, queen is also a pair, so let's try a king. So, so different kings are spread um, across the uh, range more more evenly. Um, another thing we can do with this expression is that we can save some of them. For example, we have this button customize here, which allows us to specify some custom uh, categories using expressions. So, so here I have created for myself like two very simple categories. One is called trash, which is nothing and no draw, or not trash, which is everything else than that. And when we have these custom categories, then we can see here always what, how many trash hands we have and how many not trash hands. And this allows us to quickly grasp uh, some particular categories that we like to look at without having to select, for example, this nothing and no draw um, every single time. Um, we can also click here with the right button to create negative selection. So it's, it says not third pair and low pair. Um, we can also click on the actions at the top. So for example, we can see if we click on the call, we see how the call is distributed among our uh, range categories. If we could click fold, we see how the fold is distributed. And at the same time, we see how this fold and call are distributed on the graph. So here it's not that interesting. So let's go to a root again. And here, if we click a bet by the thickness of the graph, we can see where the bet is located on our um, in our range. So this is a relatively easy way to see that our betting range is very polarized, whereas our check range is, yeah, it has some uh, thin spots, but is pretty much evenly spread across um, our range. So another way to select some part of range is using the suit filters. Um, we have these buttons here for showing full bars which is self-explanatory. We can switch between showing combos and the uh, percentages here. Um, and we have a graph. At the moment, nothing happens if we hover over graph, but when we hover over range categories, we can see where on the graph some parts of this hand are. And if we select some part of the graph, of, of the range, then only this part is shown on the graph. Um, so that's pretty much it. I think it's been quite a short video and there is not that much to say about this feature, but I really hope you will like it and you will enjoy using the new layout of uh, PyoViewer. And thank you for watching.